season is born. So pack our trunk, wish for luck, then head out on our way to mid PA on an autumn day to a Penn State football game. And we'll sing, oh, 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 we're Penn State proud. We'll sing it loud. Come join the crowd. It's the 75th edition of Homecoming at Penn State, and they are packed into Beaver Stadium as here come the Nittany Lions, a top-ranked team in the nation. And ABC Sports College Football, the College Football Association, presents a Big Ten Conference matchup featuring the Buckeyes of Ohio State and the Nittany Lions of Penn State. And here is how the Big Ten standings look. Penn State out on top. The Badgers are back in the thick of things as far as a possible bowl bid in the Big Ten. Guys of Ohio State, second down and three from the 34. Carter's got it again, and he had Whitman in front of him. Carter nearly to midfield and finally across midfield to the 49-yard line. He had the big man. His team 6-2 and two this year. Losses to Washington and Illinois on first and 10. The play action by Collins going to the outside. He's got his receiver over there. That was Freddie Scott. Conversion rate on a third and three from the 26. And Collins with some pressure that time. Chased out of the pocket. He'll run it. And he has the first down at the 20-yard line. From the 20, Justin Williams has checked into the game. And he's in motion to the near side. Carter on the counter. Kajana Carter. Touchdown. <laughs> 20 yard touchdown run. And his the 30. It's a 40 yarder. His longest is 39. 40. It's exactly right. <laughs> and it's off the upright. You've got to make those. You know, if you're going to upset the number one team in the country, you've got to come in and you third down and nine. That was Archie in the slot to the near side as Collins going in between. He finds Bobby Ingram down to the 25-yard line where Springs make the tackle as they find Ingram for the first time. Down at the 25-yard line, first and 10, and Collins to go to the air again to his tight end, Kyle Brady. Look at the big man inside the five to the four-yard line with Tito Paul. Carter, the running back, so on third and goal from the one, and Kajana Carter's got it, and he has got another touchdown. Second touchdown of the day. He's unbeaten. Got an 11-game win streak going. Here comes the blitz. Down and eight. Collins going downfield. He's got his receiver, Bobby Ingram. Tackled from behind at the 31-yard line. First and 10, 14-yard line. They got an eight-man front up there right now. That means one-on-one -on -one coverage. Collins puts a touch on it. Touchdown. Bobby Ingram. Marlon Kerner was on the coverage, and the officials uh, running over. He's got a chance of making that. He's healthy. Yeah. <laughs> he's, a, he's a battler, but he feels like he's got a chance of making the Olympics in 96 as a discus throw. First and 10 from the 48. Collins firing downfield. What a catch! Beautiful catch by Bobby Ingram. One-handed grab at the 36-yard line. Now you. That's another reason. Look at that right there. All the way back there. Left hand brings it in. That's another reason, reason Kerry Collins' stats are so much improved. Ingram, four receptions, 75 yards, and look who's got it! Touchdown! Kajana Carter! 36 yards on his third touchdown run of the day. And Dick, we talked earlier, what would Penn State... Eddie Hayes, 28 years at Ohio State. What a great run he has had here in Happy Valley. On first and 10 from the 31, Hoying trying to go downfield, and he slipped. Do they call it an interception? Yes, they do. Brian Miller. Brian Miller. Split backs for Kerry Collins and the Nittany Lions to Mike Archie. Touchdown! What a catch by Mike Archie! Spectacular catches here today by Bobby Ingram and Mike Archie. And I'm a believer this is the best football.
team in the country. I got to go along with that. I haven't seen any better. But a better half of football uh, that you've seen? I have not seen a better half of football. Yeah. You know, against a good defensive football team. Ohio State came in here, the number two defensive team in the Big Ten. Yeah. Own 27, and what? Touchdown right here. Eight plays. Eight you plays. Bet. Uh, then from their own 23, they get the ball back. Three plays and punt. The, the punter had earned a scholarship. Yeah, and then from their own four. Their own four. 96 yards. How many plays? 13 plays, <laughs> if you will, in the touchdown. Then their own 28. Own 28. Yeah, they're going the other way. There we now. go. They're own 28. They're <laughs> Wrong going way for Mill. Yeah. <laughs> touchdown again. Seven plays in the touchdown. Then their own 40. Their own 40, and here they go again. Touchdown again. Yeah, five plays that time, and then their own 43. Own 43. Better field position here. Touchdown again. Five plays and the five, TD. Five. 35 to nothing. Three times Kajana Carter got in the end zone on runs and Kerry Collins with uh, <laughs> two touchdown passes. And look at those passing yards, Dick. Two. First and 10, 31 yard line. Freddie Scott in motion to the far side. Kajana Carter gets busted right in the middle. Ball was loose. Ball was loose. And Ohio State comes up with it. Looks like number 70, Matt Bonhouse, the senior from Cincinnati who did not 12 scores. That's pretty good defense inside the red zone. Second and four from the 14. Fake Hoyne's got a man wide open. Goes to the end zone. Touchdown! Chris Sanders. Team meeting. They said, hey, Joe, they're playing. We like them. We don't want anything like that in our uniforms. Thanks, Jack. And Freddie Scott's got the pass underneath. Scott is inside the 20, down to the 18-yard line with Tito Paul. But there'd be some pressure inside. First and 10, 17-yard line. They give it to Archie. With the hole, touchdown! <laughs> After the turnover, they scored earlier on the touchdown pass to Sanders as Hoyne checks off at the line of scrimmage. Intercepted, intercepted at midfield by Brian Miller, his second pick of the day. Excellent effort. Jump up and get him today. 75th homecoming here at Penn State. They've won 30 of the last 33 on homecoming day on a second and eight. They're coming after him right now with everybody. And they give it to Kajana Carter. Touchdown! Number four on the afternoon. 10, 11-yard line. That was Kenya who punted that last time for Penn State. So they try to throw the uh, middle screen. That picked off. Picked off. Chris Mazik. And touchdown. Chris Mazik. Yeah, Chris Mazik. Chris was the center at the Ohio State. It was this man, Kirk Herbstreit, who called the signals as quarterback. And now, Kirk, you want to take my job. You're a sideline announcer on radio. But have you ever seen domination from a team like what Penn State's doing to your team this this day? No, not at all. This this is probably the best offense I've ever seen in, in my entire life of watching college football. Six yards per punt. And that's from inside the 10. Making the catch there, number 11, Chris Campbell. Campbell still on his feet. Campbell all the way inside the 20 to the 19-yard line. Damn, where the plane is. <laughs> Fletcher is the tailback. He's got the football. He's got some blocking. And he's got the touchdown. Ambrose Fletcher, his first career touchdown. And six. He's going in. Yeah. Touchdown, Ohio State and Stanley Jackson. Well, that's his first touchdown in his college career. Good 10 as Joe Paterno will take his bows. And what a magnificent effort by the Nittany Lions of Penn State. He, he, I'll tell you this, he said, you know, I never thought this was going to happen. And he's sincere. He really didn't believe this was going to happen. Scott Turner, the punter, averaged 45 yards on eight punts, had a career long of 60. Our 